In this video, we're gonna get a little bit tactical and actually get to work finding your best, most profitable keyword opportunities that you should be targeting in local search. The thing is, what you think you wanna be found for might be right on the money, but if it's just based on your best guess and not on actual research, you might not be reaching anybody at all, and there are a few reasons for that. First, the keyword phrase that your hunch tells you to pick might not get enough monthly searches. That can happen when the words that you use in your business as an expert in your field don't match up with the words that your customers, who are, let's face it, maybe less knowledgeable, would use when they search for a business like yours. For instance, you may be the best pest control service in town, but if everyone's typing in exterminator instead, maybe pest control isn't your best option. Or maybe the phrase you want is just way too hard to rank for and you'd be better off optimizing for something else that will get you way better results. And that's where keyword research comes in. And it's actually pretty easy to do when you follow me through the steps in this video. Step one is where you're just gonna write out all your services, products, or offers that you'd ideally like to be found for in your local area. So if you're a home cleaning business, you might offer standard house cleaning, post construction cleanup, move out cleaning, deep cleaning, and maybe exterior window cleaning too. Or if you're an accountant, you may do tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, and tax projections. So just write it all down in a list, and then once you have that, it's time for step two, use SEMrush to uncover your best keyword opportunities. To do this, I'm gonna show you two different methods you can go about this. So first, we'll be using the keyword magic tool. You'll just find that over in the left sidebar menu, and then you'll take your first service and plug it into the keyword field. And since this is for local SEO, you'll wanna add in your city name either before or after. Next, you'll just let it work its magic, finding more keywords for you based on that initial seed keyword that you put in. And here's the list. You'll notice there are a bunch of columns here, but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the really important ones that you'll wanna pay especially close attention to. First, we have intent. So people do searches for all kinds of reasons, everything from you know searching how to do something themselves, general information, trying to find a specific website that they're looking for, and yes, to find a business like yours. So what you wanna look for here are intents that are labeled either C, which stands for commercial, right? They're looking into different brands or services, and T for transactional, meaning they're pretty much ready to actually pull that trigger. The other two really important columns here are volume, which shows how many monthly searches each phrase gets, as well as KD, which stands for keyword difficulty. So that's represented by both a number between one and 100, and it's also color-coded for really easy skimming. And just like you'd think, green means it'd be an easy keyword to rank for, yellow is slightly harder, orange is worse, and red is just really, really hard. So. The trick here is to find the right balance between a difficulty score that's easy enough to try for and a search volume that's high enough to be worth the trouble. What I like to do here is some basic filtering to help me out. So first, I'm gonna to toggle over to related, which is gonna do exactly what it sounds like and show me related phrases that I may not have thought of, but maybe my customers would be using. Next, let's eliminate the ones that might just be too difficult by setting that in the easy to possible range, you know, anything from zero to 49. Then under intent, I'll just choose commercial and transactional. And because I only want local based terms, I'm gonna tell it to include the city name. And here's where it gets super local in terms of intent. So I wanna only see search terms that generate local map pack results. Now to get that, I'm gonna to go to Advanced Filters, SERP Features, and choose Local Pack. Now I'm left with only these really super targeted, highly relevant keyword phrases. But depending on your situation, there still might be a ton to choose from, right? Well, if I just order them by highest volume, I can see pretty visually what my best bets may be. 
All I need to do is start at the top and look at these colored circles. And right here, I see these greens. And they have a pretty good healthy volume, so I think these would probably be my top choices. So from here, I would just go ahead and write these down in either a spreadsheet or a simple Word or Google Doc, because we're gonna need them a little later on in the course. And once you've done all that, then you just rinse and repeat this process for the rest of your services, so you're left with a small handful of really golden keyword phrases written down for each of them. So that's the really in-depth way of researching your best keyword opportunities, but I wanna show you one even easier way that you can do it. This method's gonna help you see who's already ranking where you wanna be, then reverse engineering the keywords that are working well for them. Super easy to do with SEMrush. But before we can use it, we need to see who's ranking at the top of the map for your business category. So obviously just head over to Google, type in your initial best guess for what you think customers are typing in when they're looking for you, your type of business, then just see who's at the top of the map listings. But you do wanna be sure that they're there organically and that this top result isn't actually a local business ad. So pick the first organic result and click on website. Then just copy their URL and head back over to SEMrush. Specifically, we're looking for domain overview on the left sidebar menu. Then just paste your competitor's URL in the box, choose your country, then search. Then you'll scroll down to where it says organic research and here's where you'll see a short list of keywords. We're gonna click the blue view details button. Now you've got the full list. Depending on who your competitor is, you may have a ton of results or maybe just a few. Now to whittle it down and prioritize our options, we're gonna go to the positions dropdown and choose top three. This will show only the search terms that they're being found in the top three for then go to SERP features dropdown, on SERP, local pack. Now we have a crystal clear picture of the exact terms that they're seeing success with that you can use to compete against them. I just order them by highest volume first, then choose the best ones based on search volume and difficulty score. Write down the ones that you wanna shoot for, and now we're ready to move on to the next video where we'll be optimizing your Google business profile, the single biggest ranking factor when it comes to local search success. I'll see you there.